Y'all want me to do it? All right. Here we go. Yeah. When you got it, you got it. When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. He's feeling it now, bro. Well, yeah. We about to get primed up. Look at here, we back on, girl. <laughs> Look at here. We, uh, a shawl. we got Jay, we got Chef cooking a chili. We got all our buddies out here. We're having a great time. And we about to get time. <laughs> <laughs> That mossy oak duck blind blends right in by the time they see it. It's a sin, shoot where they're going, not where they've been. It's steam rolling from the top of the blind, fresh duck cut up, tastes just right. I love living life with my eyes to the sky. Bologna snatches. Tell them. The old bologna snatches. Never heard nobody. King stud bologna snatches, that is. Eat that. Shoot that. I don't think there has been a duck in the history of ducks with more nicknames and running jokes than the northern shoveler. Bologna snatches. I've heard them called spoonbills. Yeah, I, I love a I love a spoonbill. Smiling mallards. Smiling mallard. Some people call them Hollywood. Here at the camp we call them bologna snatchers. You know, we call them that because they snatch them bologna out in the pond. Bologna snatches. I mean, that's what they are. Call it as I see it. <laughs> call a spade a spade. I call it how I see it. And I feel like tonight's going to be the drunk night. Might just go home in the morning. Right. <laughs> All right, the sun is setting on Orange Grove amongst these cypress, and I'm going to be cooking this venison chili. Really easy, simple recipe. Bacon, onion, garlic, chili powder, venison, a little bit of tomato sauce, I got some duck stock left over from last night, but first I got to get started with cutting some of this bacon up. Bro, that is crazy. I mean, dude, that's better than any HD TV. Here, T, let's see what you got. All right, Talk buddy, get out there, run. All right, look at this. So you do like this when you see somebody. Look at Mikey. You hit this button here. Yeah. I don't think we hit the wrong one. Tap the screen. You know oh, I, did, I hit the wrong one. Oh yeah, see. These oh, look at that picture. Oh, I'm gonna deglaze the pan. I'm just gonna pick up all those little brown pieces from the bottom of the pan. To lift all that caramelized bacon, onion, and ground venison off the bottom of our skillet, I use Maker's Mark for the notes of pepper and vanilla that the bourbon leaves behind. Now that that bourbon has burned off, I'm gonna add some duck stock. Same duck stock that we made that duck a orange with last night. Just enough to wet that meat come soft. And then homemade tomato sauce. This tomato sauce is a simple base recipe that can be used in all sorts of applications. It's whole peeled tomatoes cooked with toasted garlic, olive oil, chili flake, seasoned with salt and pepper, and steeped with fresh basil. Best day in Orange Grove in a long time, I chat. Boy, you ain't lying. When y'all coming better, back huh? again? <laughs> I expect to set a So we're wrapping on Orange Grove, and after piles of ducks and a couple good meals at the campsite, man, I just, I'm looking back at these cypress trees and I just, thankful. Thankful this is here. Thankful I can make this show. Thankful I can cook for my friends. And uh, just feeling really blessed about this whole opportunity in this, in this evening. Um, we're gonna make the track back to the camp. It's gonna be a little chilly, but we gotta get ready for more hunting tomorrow. Hey, y'all doing good together. This is my cameo. Look at this picture here. Oh! <laughs> big, big lens and not snap. Somebody show me the way to go home. I'm so tired, I can't go on. Yes, my baby.
Riding in this boat, I can't help but to feel grateful. Grateful for my friends. Grateful for this land. Grateful to be a Louisianian. But most of all, I'm grateful to be able to tell the story of the marshes and wetlands that has given so much to us. I feel grateful to be able to do this with my friends by my side. I went to a party and I got drunk. I never felt like this before. Yes, my baby, she left me. Somebody show me the way to go. I get one. Oh, shit. All right. So this is a. <laughs> So this is nothing but they call it it's an old school root. Flour, oil, onions, bell pepper, garlic. See that? We call that fudge. How long have you been stirring this? 45 minutes on top. High speed chicken feed. Just keep on stirring. <laughs> Y'all kill my chicken feet. Y'all kill my y'all kill my cameo. Kill my cameo. Right, cut. Cut. When you can kick ass at something, you kick ass at this. And that's my bro. So when Jean Paul cooked this gumbo, Daddy made the room. I'm, I've been carrying him a long time. Let me tell y'all. First day I met him. I met him in the hospital in Thibodeau. He was seven hours old. I was freshly born. I looked back over him in that little basket I knew. He was never going to be good enough if he didn't have somebody like me to carry him. So from day one, I've been carrying him ever since then. And it's been a long ride, but well worth it. So we always told him, if you can't do nothing, you better cook. And that, that was all he was ever good at, kind of. Then I showed him my root, and now he's so big, he done forgot about me. And it, it, I, I swear, it, he held me up to think about when he left me for New York. But it's been the best thing ever to him, and it, it means a lot to me, you know. So, this root's to him, my dog, JP. feeling a little rough this morning, but there's no better remedy than a duck blind sunrise. The colors of pinks and oranges meeting the morning blues, combined with the squawks and quacks and yelps of marsh birds awakening is not just balm for my soul, but it's instant relief from what ails us from the night before. is winning so far this morning. Duck hunting can feel like a chess game at times, but this morning that is proving to be especially true. These still know where they want to be, and their plans do not include Ryan and I. And there's nothing we can do except to move with them and try to keep up. All right, we're in our third spot. Some grass in front and some brush in the back sun's on our back now so it's a much better shooting arrangement the wind has picked up this could be a good move for us we're going to see if we can pull down a few birds we know they're in this area they've been here all morning 50 100 200 teal back and forth so we're gonna shut up and stay down two, 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 more two behind them here they come oh yeah you ready, Mikey?
we got three of them. Yeah. Redhead. Put my red hat on for the redheads, huh? Get them decoying right. You win some, you lose some. Time for a Debbie cake. Bald eagles are apex predators. They can often spook up feeding waterfowl. On the other hand, they're highly intelligent and have no issues with taxing you on a couple downed ducks. Once they hear the sound of shooting, they'll circle your blind all morning till they find one of your downed birds. We're not shooting great, but that's duck hunting. That's how you do it. That's pretty crazy. No, I, I hear you, but it's just really nice and not flaring off this pot. They're using the. They're oh, using the. Oh, Tax man came, and it's a little bittersweet to watch that uh, eagle swoop down so close to you and snatch up one of your teal. But hey, like we said, uh, those eagles are spooking up ducks all around this lease, which has given us shots. So I think we'll take that at this point. It's what happens out here. Tax man shows up, gets his piece. Giveaway recipes. You gotta pay for it. No, I'm choking, Dad. All right, let me go. There's teal everywhere. My dad said he wants your mother's gumbo. People ask me what my last meal would be. It'd be her seafood gumbo. With a day of bad shooting and hard to hunt birds, it's important to remember that the duck camp is not about piles of dead ducks. The duck camp is about the people, the friendships, the bragging rights, and the food that awaits us once we leave the blind. In the next episode, we'll head out on a midday pool do shoot, and I'll cook one of the best eating and most underrated species of waterfowl in a classic Cajun gumbo. Starting to get hungry. Somebody show me the way to go home. I'm so drunk, I can't go on. Yes, my baby, she left me. Somebody show me the way to go home. I looked over there and that's it, said, man. That poor little. He gonna need some help. I never fell alive.